In this video, we'll cover all the basics of customizing the MVC Data Grid Control filtering capabilities. One of the filtering capabilities that the Data Grid provides for end users is a filter row. To filter records by column, I will type HARV in the employee filter row cell. If any records are found, the grid will contain only these records. To filter data against a specific column, I can bring up the column's header filter. The filter dropdown displays unique column values. I can select any items from this list. This action automatically filters the grid by selected values. Different filter operations can be performed over a column. I'll type 36,000 in the invoice number column and change the current filter operation by choosing required item from the filtering menu. Date and number data can also be filtered by range. I'll choose the between filter operation. I'll type in the start end range value. Now the grid contains only those items that are located in the start and end range. In addition, it's possible to filter data by predefined ranges. Another way to locate information within a data grid is to use the search panel. This feature allows you to find any record that matches values entered into the search field. Let's get started. I've already created a simple MVC application using the DevExtreme ASP.NET MVC5 project template, added the data grid control on the index page, and defined a data source for the grid. Here's a grid. It displays information on orders. To allow end users to filter grid records, I'll enable the filter row. To do this, define the filter row field. Okay, let's see how the filtering works. To filter grid records, type a required value or a part of it in the filter row cell. Matching records are determined according to the column's filter operation that is currently selected. Usually, a filter row cell is a text box. In certain cases, however, the filter row cell is represented by a control more suitable for filtering in a particular column. For example, when the data type option of a column is date, its filter row cell contains a calendar that allows a user to choose a date. To change the currently selected filter operation, click the filter icon and choose a required filter operation from the invoked dropdown list. To restore the default filter operation, choose Reset from the list. Let's move on to the next step. I'll enable the header filter by setting the visible option of the header filter field to true. And let's see the result. Now each column header is accompanied by a filter icon that invokes a drop down menu. In this menu, all unique values from the current column are listed. I select several values for filtering the grid rows. After this action, the grid displays records that have selected values in the current column. Columns with dates automatically group data by years and months, so I can easily filter data by any dates of particular months and years. The column header filter can be combined into groups. To configure a data selector for the order number column, I'll assign a number to the header filter dot group interval field. The number assigned is the maximum length of each group. The greater the number is, the less the quantity of generated groups will be. I'll also set the group interval for the order date column to month. And let's see the result in the browser. I can select one or several intervals to filter data by the data included in these intervals. According to the specified group interval, I can filter the order date data by years and by months only. Now let's customize the header filter of the sale amount column. I'll define the data source to be used for its header filter and insert an array that represents data intervals. and let's look at our changes. I can select any range to filter the grid records by data included into the selected intervals. Now the last thing I'll do is enable the search panel. 
To do this, I'll set the search panel dot visible field to true. And let's look at the result. The search panel filters records by all columns at once. To search through records, I will type SA in the search panel. As you can see, records that match this text are displayed in the grid. Searching is conducted differently in columns with different data types. To find a record by a numeric, Boolean, or date value, it is necessary to enter a full value into the search panel. And that's it. To learn more about DevExtreme ASP.NET MVC tools, check out this playlist, subscribe to our channel, or refer to our documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.